Hey folks, today I decked the halls and the walls and the bows and decked everything. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Yeah, I'm an artsy-fartsy kind of guy, and I like to save money. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of uh, what we got from the thrift shops over the years, and I'll show you, share with you guys the price. Uh, thrift shop, Dollar Tree, and Walmart, and a few things from Hobby Lobby. So let's go. Picked up these two lanterns from Walmart, paid about 15 bucks a piece for them. And then I went down to uh, Hobby Lobby and paid five bucks for the battery operated candle that's in those. But those battery operated candles have timers on them. So I have it set to go off at five o'clock. They're on for five hours. So they'll go from five to 10 o'clock at night. And it adds a nice little ambiance. Of course, uh, I got two of these little hats. We purchased them at Walmart. No, actually, I got these 50% off, two of them, at Hobby Lobby. Uh, $3.97 for the both of them combined. The bows I picked up last year uh, over at Dollar Tree, a dollar a piece. This wreath, seven bucks. Uh, Goodwill thrift shop. Uh, also, these light bulbs that you see on the gate, these are solar powered battery operated light bulbs I purchased for a dollar a piece from Dollar Tree this year. So let me take you in and I'll show you what I did with the house. So the only thing I have really purchased this year, this holiday season, has been the candles from between Hobby Lobby and Walmart. And then the Dollar Tree items that I uh, decorated my little Yule log family right here. I decided to place them right here to just kind of dress up the front yard a little bit. And then as you can see, I, uh, I, uh, at Hobby Lobby, I picked up some holly vines and put them on my trellis. And then that reindeer welcome sign up there on the trellis I purchased for seven bucks no actually it was three bucks from goodwill and i purchased that two years ago so three bucks goodwill now uh the garland all the garland and the ribbon on the uh, eve of the house uh, a dollar uh, each from dollar tree the ribbon i paid five bucks a strand or a, a roll uh from uh Walmart. Uh, there's two rolls of ribbon that's on there that I wind it, wound around there. And the pine cones I got from my mountain up behind the house. I have sugar pines. Those are big pine cones. And then of course I bought a little card of little bows. Uh, there was about 10 cards per, no, five cards or five bows per card from Dollar Tree. And I decorated those with those little cards. And they have a little gold bell on them. Speaking of gold bells, uh, the gold bells I purchased again from Dollar Tree, a dollar each, and that was last year. I uh, had them hanging on my gate last year. The wreaths, um, the wreath on the door I paid seven bucks for from Goodwill. Uh, this little snowman uh, placard on the front next to the door, seven dollars. Uh, the little sign above it, I believe I paid a dollar for that from uh, Dollar Tree. So, uh, yeah, and then this year, so far, I've gotten about, I only spent about uh, $40 total between candles and these little pieces that decorate the Yule Logs. That's it. That's uh, so far all this year. Let me take you inside the house and I'll show you what we've been doing inside the house and how we manage to budget decorations. <laughs> it's a lot warmer in here. In the library there on top of the fireplace, I have, I purchased this Cree or this um, nativity setting, but I purchased that years ago. I paid $19 and some cents for it from Costco. 
And I purchased that probably 25 years ago, and I purchased that around the same time I purchased the tree. Now there's a story behind this tree. This was a bargain tree. I went to Walmart to the garden department to pick something up. The team, the staff, was putting together a display case of the boxes of these trees. These are fake trees. We wanted a fake tree and so it saves us money year to year. So we've been using this tree for 25, 26 years now. But when I was standing in checkout line, I saw them putting the boxes together and uh, stacking them up. Then they put the, the sale sign, the price tag on it. Yes! The price tag they put on the stack of trees for this tree uh, it was like $39.95. That wasn't the price for this tree because I was just like $39.95. That is an excellent price. I'm going to go ahead and buy it because I need a tree. I grabbed the tree, put it on the counter at the checkout stand, which is within about 20 feet from the display. And uh, the gal rang it up and it rang up 200 and some odd dollars for that tree. And I go, now wait a minute. That sign on top of that display, which was where I got this tree, says $39.95 or whatever it was. And she looked at it. She called the manager over. The manager came over, looked at the tree, looked at the display, went over, talked to the staff. They pulled the sign down, and he came back, and he goes, you have to give him to it for that price. So I got this tree for 30, uh, 40 bucks. I got this tree. It's like a, over a $200 tree I got for 40 bucks because the staff mislabeled it now in years past uh we were really frugal uh, we were poor couldn't afford decorations and we had the tree so we decided you know what kids clean out your toy box so i had the kids bring out all their little toys we put hooks on them and hung their toys all over the tree and that was our ornaments for years but last year i decided no we're gonna upgrade the tree and we're gonna go a little bit more um upgraded <laughs> so we got rid of the uh the toys and we went more traditional and i looked for sales and i caught the sales and was able to purchase all new products except for some of the items were free from estate cleanups uh a few of them are um her uh, vintage which i inherited like this angel up here That angel up there has a prominent place in my home. That stood atop my grandparents' tree while my mother was growing up as a kid because I have pictures of my mother when she was a little child uh, in front of the Christmas tree and that angel was sitting on top of that Christmas tree. So I put that angel in a very prominent place. This is a... Uh, this is a um, it's a treasure for me, and it rem reminds me of my childhood as a little kid going and visiting my grandparents at Christmas time and seeing that angel on top of the tree. I was so lucky that I was able to get that angel. How do you like the way I uh, display my stockings? These are door hooks, a dollar each from Dollar Tree, stuffed animals that my wife has collected over the years because she loves penguins and people gift them to her because they know she likes penguins so i went and bought last year i bought stockings enough for each one of us red ones were for boys green ones are for girls and uh then i alternated the colors for the hooks with the stocking so i didn't match the hook with the stocking you see what i did there but anyway I was able to stop the stuck, uh, st stock, stuff the stockings with mainly Dollar Tree items and also usable uh, Big Lots is another place I like to shop. And of course, this wreath over here, nine bucks, Goodwill. I love shopping Goodwill, especially around uh, Christmas season. I've got a huge collection of wreaths that are growing everywhere. Let me show you some more. Yeah, here in the entryway, I picked this up at Goodwill, uh, nine bucks. No, this was seven dollars. Well, I use my uh, my veterans discount, so I'm able to get uh, a little bit more or less. 
And of course, this wreath I made last year, I got that lasso from a tax shop. I paid 10 bucks for the lasso, paid 40 bucks for the spurs. Those are real authentic spurs. And then Dollar Tree Foo Foo to put on there and made this nice little cowboy western style door wreath. And I hung it on the bedroom door with a Dollar Tree door hook. And then back in the day when my family was homeless, we were living in a leaky old RV. Yeah, this one right here. Uh, we couldn't afford much of a Christmas, let alone didn't have a place for a Christmas tree. I went down to Big Lots and I purchased this one. It was already pre-decorated, but it had no lights. But this was our Christmas tree for about four years while we were homeless. And now we keep it, we, we display it here in the entry to remind us of our humble beginnings when we came to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. And, uh, you know, this... To me, it's a treasure and it means a lot to me. It's an heirloom for me because it reminds me so much of our hard times and our humble times, but yet we stick together as a family. And if we had anything else, it was love. By the way, that lighted garland up there, seven bucks, Goodwill. That's where I got that from. Now this garland up here on top of the China Hutch, I paid seven bucks for that uh, with some change. Of course got it from Goodwill. Also this wreath hanging on the dining room wall, I paid uh, nine bucks for that wreath again from Goodwill. Uh, the candles you see on each side of the, uh, the wreath, those were, came from Hobby Lobby and they were five bucks a piece. And the table centerpiece, I part of it, the deer inside I got for free from an estate cleanup. But the wreath, uh, the place setting, I purchased from Walmart last year, and I think I paid nine bucks for that. And over here we have uh, a Santa Claus. I picked up that Santa Claus for free from an estate cleanup. The snowman down there, that is a vintage paper mache snowman. I remember that from my childhood growing up. That decorated my grandparents' house also. So. That is a family heirloom that I like to display uh, where I, you know, I like it. I really like it. Now, as eccentric as I am, let me take you out into the backyard and show you what I did back there. Not much going on back here, but these little LED lights I put up here, I hang those up all year long. I, I really like them. But these are gonna stay up through Christmas season. I got these uh, free from a company that wanted me to review their product. And so there is a review video on these little LED lights. I really like them, but there's another LED light I did a review on and I wanna show you guys what I did with those because they're insanely long. I was given this uh, LED light of uh, for uh, doing a review on, and I did the review. I'll, I'll leave a link for that also. These are kind of cool lights because they do a variety of different things. They'll do chasers, they blink, they would whatever things. I don't know if you guys can see them flashing behind me here, but 150 feet long. Yes, this stretches all the way across around my entire garden. I can't believe it. So we're going to leave these up probably indefinitely. Don't know. Uh, I, I may just leave them up indefinitely. I, cause I'm, I'm liking them. <laughs> Hey, don't go yet. I want to share with you guys my first wreath I purchased from Goodwill four years ago. No, it was three years ago. It was three years ago. And this inspired me to make another wreath. Nine bucks is this wreath right here. Well, that's it. The tour of the uh, holiday festive homestead. Yeah, I decked the walls, decked the halls, decked this and decked that, and I'm all decked out. I'm going to uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the evening and make me some supper. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for joining me and uh, sharing our adventures. 
Hope you guys have a great safe holiday season. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click that bell icon, click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out the channel. I gotta go out and feed my livestock. Remember, always be safe, always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure, okay? Bye-bye now.